obviously, I know what you're doing. <laughs> you're churning butter and, taste it, and tasting it to make sure it, see if it needs more salt. So you're churning it, uh -huh. and then also tasting, <laughs> tasting the butter. Even if you don't proclaim yourself as a stoner and you smoke a lot of weed, you're still a stoner. In denial. Yeah. That's probably the only criteria for being a stoner is smoking the pot. I think if there was some kind of marijuana that allowed me to like enjoy life but still like remember where I put my keys, I would be that. Because that seems like the best of both worlds. Be like yeah. neuroses, osmosis. Whoa, <laughs> that's great, neuroses, yeah. osmosis. That's kind of what I do on the side, just think of weeds. You just make that up? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Oh, got it. Okay, so you are basically an old-timey shaman. Old-timey shaman. Yeah, and somebody's come in with weird heart palpitations. Oh. And then this thing, this was the really telling thing, obviously, what yeah. you were doing with this. So you're giving them the old CPR, and then what you're doing here is an old prayer oh. where you take two fingers <laughs> and you put them near your lips, and then you do circles, oh. like the old prayer. And then the person, obviously, <laughs> if the impression went on, would get up, thank you, oh. pay you in shells, oh. and leave. Yeah, pretty much. This is amazing. I know. I actually thought I wouldn't get these. All right, so now we are going to test each other's knowledge of pot paraphernalia. So that looks like the leg of a deer, mm -hmm. uh, bleached and on its side. Is that right? It's actually a joint. It's a joint. Oh, a joint. Okay, so it's the joint of a deer. Oh, obviously, this is like a colander. Like so, you're <laughs> so if you're cooking pasta, you would strain it in that device. Is that correct? Uh, a grinder. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, now it makes sense. This is like Austin Powers, like pulling out the penis pump. It's like if you know what this is, then you are really, really right. It's incriminating. It's a you know vaporizer. That's of correct. Course. Vaporizer. Yeah, yeah. Dude, we have the same. You're doing the same thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, conceptually speaking, I think that we're on the same page. I think you might be surprised. This is the only thing I know how to draw. It's the Phoenix Suns logo from the early '90s. It doesn't reflect the experience of being high, but I can't draw anything else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did no, you draw? It's sort of like ambiguous experience of being happy and uh, within a natural environment. Oh, it's great. Is it also an exploding volcano? Or no, is that no, an that's, abstract? that's me. Oh, that's you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now I remember. But thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's great. So how should we present it again or something? Yeah. So I draw the 1993 Phoenix Suns logo. <laughs> um, because it's the only thing I—it's the only thing I know how to draw. I went for like a way, way more like literal, specific interpretation. I That's just, great. I, for some reason, in, call Jesse Jessup sometimes. Sure. Better than Jess Down. And so I'm just like really wanting to promote the movie because that's what it's called and he's in it. Sometimes his name is Jessup and not Jesse and he gets super high in the movie. That's so sweet. Can I keep this? <laughs> yeah. You can also have. I mean, I guess you probably want my Phoenix Suns logo. Yeah. yeah, you can have it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're folding it. Cool. Disrespectful. Well, I'm going to keep it close. I want to put it in my oh, pocket. Great. Okay, great. great. 